I earn a piece. <sighs> wow. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything either. <laughs> it's quiet. Oh. I look a hot mess because I am a hot mess. Um, <clears throat> I'm Tia's leaving tomorrow morning with Axel, but they took the Tia took him back to that play place today, so I have a little bit of time and a little bit of peace and quiet, and I don't have to be at the shop. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a few minutes to chat with you guys because I got. A bunch of stuff in the mail that I'm really excited about that I want to show you and I want to show you that sweater that I've been trying to show you for a while now <clears throat> but I've been running after a two-year-old or almost two-year-old and being sick and having to pack up and all this my house is like a freaking tornado hit it between having to semi toddlerize the house and take everything out of the living room and throwing it in this room. I can't even, you don't even want to see this room. Um, and then having a toddler look at you and go, this is not toddler friendly. And find everything and every, every little piece of something that I didn't even remember I had. To just prove to Gigi that mm, you did a bad job. <laughs> so, And then on top of that, to pack up the shop and bring it all to the house. Yeah, when they go home, I think I'm going to have to start reorganizing. <clears throat> My sister says, hey, when you're ready to reorganize, let me know. Well, now she's sick. <sighs> so I'm like, oh, I don't know. I've got time, right? <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> I, uh, yeah, let's start with the sweater, okay? <clears throat> Um, then I can pack it up and forget about it. All right. So where is it here? I don't have a lot of room here to show you guys this kind of thing, but I will try my best. Okay. So here it is. So it's kind of light on one side, a little bit darker on the other side, but whatever. So, um, it's got a little bit of a collar. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then it's got black sleeves. All right. So, so that's how that turned out. <clears throat> so there you go. I showed it to you. <laughs> I can't show it to you on. Because <clears throat> there's just not enough room in here to be able to do that. Um, but yeah. So this was the sweater that I was going to send to. Chris, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> but, um, but she lives in Florida now, so this is going to be too heavy for her. So this one is going to be going to my craft fairs at some point. God, what a mess in here. I got yarn for days in here right now. <clears throat> oh, I hate it when my house gets like this and I can't move around and I can't do what needs to be done. I want to get in here so bad and start making eyes, uh, safety eyes and stuff. And I can't do it. I got to wait until Tia is gone. And then God, I'm starting to really look like my mother. Holy smokes. Um, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> squirrel. Uh, so yeah, until I can get a handle on what's happening in this house, I'm not going to be able to relax. <clears throat> so anyway, I don't even know what to start with. Oh, let's start with the anniversary cake. Okay. So this is the anniversary cake that my grandson brought to me that day. I love this. I've never thought to put purples and light blues together, but I thought this will make a beautiful sweater, right? I may even be able to get two sweaters out of this if I pair it with something else. Like if I pair it with a dark purple or a white um, or something like that, I think Serenity, Premier Serenity is about this. I don't even have anything around. I think that's, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, look at that. Serenity Chunky. 
Oh, now George is trying to call me. He can go away for a minute. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's pretty close. Hang on. Come out, come out, come out. There we go. So that's pretty close to the same size. So if I paired <clears throat> paired that with this, I can get two sweaters out of this. Um, and use this as a, the accent color because there's a lot of yarn in this. When I um, made that sweater the last time, I still had stuff left over from making a sweater, which absolutely shocked me, shocked me because this is a super bulky six and there is uh, 1,061 yards 970 meters in this thing so yeah this this I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that um maybe i'll even make it a tutorial because i've got time <laughs> i'm so excited i have time to do what i need to do i can start making tutorials again oh, i'm so excited oh yeah so so there's that Oh, I should show you that necklace. I'm, I'm spinning. Oh my God, I'm spinning. I've got so much to show you guys and so much to talk about. Hold on. Okay. So this is the gadget that I was telling you guys about. So you put this, this whole thing comes apart like this. And then you put it around your neck. And then you put it back in. <laughs> and, and of course, I don't have glasses on. So I can't see. Anyway, so you put it on. This is a magnet. So they give you a piece that you can put on your phone, like a magnetic piece, and it snaps on to your phone and you can point it down. You can move this however you want it. It's because it's new. It's uh, really stiff. But anyways, you can move this however you need it to move. And um, <clears throat> you can point it down so that you can show what you're crocheting, right? So I'm pretty pumped about that. I actually, I got two of these. Um, I bought one from this one off Amazon. And then I got another one from Timu just to see what the difference is. And um, they look pretty similar. So, uh, it's, but yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. <clears throat> All right, next. Okay, next. I got so much to show you guys. <sighs> okay, the velvet yarn that I got, which is over there, that I got, that I showed you guys last time that I got from Timu, I was so impressed by it. And I know that a lot of people are telling me, oh, there's chemicals, there's this, there's that. But you know what? A lot of yarns come from Asia and Turkey. But <clears throat> um, I mean, the best yarns are from Turkey. But there's a lot of yarns that we don't know where they're coming from, right? So, <clears throat> I mean, when you're making something and you wash it, you know, like, I think it, I think it's fine, right? I'm not a yarn snob. snob. Um, I just, I wanted to see what it was like. I wanted to see if it was crap, you know, because you don't know what you're buying when you get it from Asia. And this really impressed me. Oh, George is trying to phone me. Hang on. Oh, holy Hannah. Okay. <clears throat> so anyways, I wanted to check it out. I wanted to see what it was like. I'm not going to be um, making baby clothes or anything out of it. Um, so, but there's no smell to it. Um, and yeah. So anyway, so I got some more from um, a different part of the website because I really liked the color so I wanted to check it out so it's 100% acrylic and it's the velour as well so isn't that beautiful look at that color there's no smell there's no nothing so let's see let's do the test ah, nope it won't break of course, it's going to come off the end, but it's a little bit pilly. This one's a little bit pilly, <clears throat> but that's okay. 
<clears throat> I can work with that. If I'm making little mushrooms or something, I don't think it's going to matter too much. Sorry, guys. My throat is still really jacked up. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, I really like the colors on this stuff. So I got, what did I get? One, two, three. Oh yeah, I got a different color too. Oops. Three of these. And then I got, oops, hang on. And then I got the dark purple. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? It's actually darker than what it's showing, but this just shows Halloween to me. But look at those colors together. Isn't that beautiful? So, I think I got three of these. Oh no, sorry, I got four. Oops, four of each. So, yeah. Okay. All right, and then I got I got some stuff for making eyes that I wanted to see. I don't know if this is, stuff is going to work, but um, see how it goes. I don't know. Might not. Um, and then I got a whole bunch of um, UV um, UV gel for the backs of the eyes. I got a whole bunch of it. Oops. So we'll just drop that over there. All right. Then, I don't know. I think I told you guys about this a while back. Um, I saw an, was it an Instagram? It was either an Instagram post or a Facebook post. And I can't for the life of me remember who it was. But she made a tube on, it's crooked. She made, oh, oh, hello. Sorry. Uh, okay, she made a tube like she's making a hat on the Addy machine. But what she did was she put the snaps, uh, magnetic snaps on either side so that you can make it into a headband. And when you didn't want it to be a headband, you put the one side into the middle like as if you were making um, a hat. And then you could put a magnetic pom-pom on the top. It was brilliant. <clears throat> I want to start making those. Or should I say I should, I'm going to get George to start making those. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of magnetic snaps. And I mean, I got a lot. Ugh. So. Um, there we go. So, yeah. So then you just sew one side on one end, one side on the other, and then boom, you've got it. <clears throat> so I got, I think there's, how many is there in the pack? Ten. There's ten in a pack, and I got, oh gosh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I got five in this order and then I got some more in another order somewhere. I don't know. <clears throat> um, yeah, so got those. So I'm excited about that. And then I saw these and I was kind of curious, you know, I figured, well, I don't know. We'll check them out. These are, um, oh, they're taped. <laughs> Okay, hang on. Do I have scissors here somewhere? Oh, wait. Okay. Um, I thought, okay, yeah, they're plastic hooks, but they're really pretty. And I thought, hey, these are kind of cool looking. Aren't those pretty? So these go, I um, can't remember. I think this is like the full range. It goes from like a 2 or 2.5 uh, <clears throat> all the way up to a 5.5. No, it goes up to a 6. So, and I got these because 
of the point and because they're pretty but I liked the point on them right and I figured that these would be really good to get right right into um, your work now they're comfortable either way that you're using them they're comfortable it's got a nice rounded tip on the back so that if you are a knife holder um, it's not going to dig in to your skin so I like these and the fact that they've got the a band there with the number right in it so there's no question um, which hook you've got I really like these I like them they're comfortable you know it's funny I am a furls girl these are similar right they're similar um, but they're, they're really pretty so they're very similar and you know I'm used to getting the expensive hooks but I lately have been starting to get the less expensive hooks um, especially if they are similar in shape to a furls and these are so um, let me know if this is something that you would be interested in trying because I think I'm going to get some more of these. I'm, I think I'm going to get a bunch of these. Oh. <clears throat> um, because I am planning on something that I'm hoping you guys are going to be excited about. Um, <clears throat> I got some bags. Okay. I'm planning on putting in my shop uh, some crochet related bags. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the um, Cricut stuff and I'm going to be putting de crochet related decals on these bags. Okay, hang on. So, oops. Here for a minute, talk about those in a minute, talk about those in a minute. Um, and what I want to do is I want to make them a crochet pack. All right. So and have them available for purchase. I'm not how, sure how much they'll be yet, because I don't know what I'm gonna put in. Crinkle alert. All right. So these are canvas bags. All right. Um, they got a square bottom on them. Okay. And there's a pocket, a snap pocket here. And then there's a pocket here. And a pocket here. And then on the inside, there's a pocket in here. Okay, and what I want to do is I don't know if I'm going to do it on this side. I think I'm going to do it on this side and then have this side. Maybe I'll put another thing here, maybe a yarn ball or something. But I want to have a crochet saying on the back. All right. And uh, and then put like something right here. Now, I can also customize it and put a name here or something like that. So, but what I'm planning on doing is taking this, and then I got, crinkle alert again, I got these. These are also canvas. All right. They're little zipper pouches. And I want to also put something on here. Okay. And this can be your hook, um, hook bag. Right. So <clears throat> you take all your hooks and your stitch markers or whatever, and you can put them in there. Okay. So, and then that can go inside your big bag. Um, a long time ago, I got a gift from someone. I'm not sure. I think it was, 
I'm not even going to venture a guess. <clears throat> but it was a, a bag. I think it was either from Joanne's or Hobby Lobby. But it's a bag, uh, a pencil bag that says stash on it. And I use that every day. That is part of my bag um, with my uh, crochet in it. And so I got that idea and I thought these would be great. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put stuff on this bag and this bag. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to put some yarn in the bag. I want to put some hooks in the bag um, and some, a few other things um, and like a little gift from me, something that I make, whether it's like a mushroom keychain to put on the bag or like something like that um, and make it like, like a whole gift set. Right. <clears throat> so um, tell me what you guys think about that. Because I'm kind of excited about it. I, I I don't know. It won't. Don't worry. It won't be Asian yarn I put in there. It will be the good stuff. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so um, I still have my, my wholesale account. So I can get. Yarn. Like different kinds of yarn. I've still got the yarn from the shop. Although. <clears throat> I do have some of the Egyptian cotton left, but um, there's a whole bunch of other cotton um, types of yarn that's left. But I think I want, I don't want to use that yarn. I think I'm going to just get some other yarn to be able to put in there. I'll do like three weight yarns and four weight yarns and, um, and then just have like a, you know, maybe throw in some patterns or something, just some free patterns that um, I can find, throw those in there. Uh, yeah, like I, I want to make these bags up so that I could just slip them into a mailer and hopefully it won't cost too much because it's, it's not like I'm putting anything really heavy in there. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. So tell me what you guys think about it. Okay. Um, all right, next. I, on that whole kick of trying new yarns from Asia, I saw something that kind of made me chuckle. Now, we all know what Red Heart Super Saver looks like, right? I found some yarn that kind of made me laugh. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but... If this stuff is softer than Red Heart Super Saver, I'm all over it. And of course, I got black first, but okay. First off, I want you to see the label. Does that not look like Red Heart Super Saver? <laughs> but it's called Good Yarn, Super Soft Yarn. Oh my God, it is. It is super. Oh, this is nowhere near super saver yarn. What? Oh, wow. You've got to be kidding me. That's crazy. This is even softer than um, the Michaels brand. I don't even... I don't have any here. The Michael's Value brand. This is even softer than this. This is comparable to the Premier um, brand. Um, I can't find any here. Do I have any here? Uh, <clears throat> I don't have it. Uh, any right in front of me at the moment. I am shocked. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Yeah, they have a ton of colors in this. I am totally getting some. This is crazy. But like, yeah, it looks, the label is totally a knockoff. But it is soft. It's a number four. There's no smell. Machine washable and dryable. 190 grams. And that's pretty much all that's on the label. It's got 
um, tells you what needles and stuff to use. And then it just says 100% acrylic, 190 grams. Um, tells you the washing instructions. But, wow! Okay. I like this. I really like, okay. I have a whole bunch. It comes in a three pack. Um, so, <sighs> yep. I'm going to have to get some of this. Wow. Let me know. Hmm. Let me know if this would be something you would want in your bag. I mean, I could put any yarn in the bag. But this is... Wow, I'm shocked. I'm totally shook. Hmm. Okay then. Yep, I'm sold. I'm, I'm shocked. I am totally sold. Huh. Ah, okay, I was not expecting that. Not at all. That really, really shocked me. Okay then. <laughs> ah, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I know there's a lot of people that don't like Timu or that are against Timu, but so far I haven't had a problem. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just absolutely like, I usually get like stuff for my business, like, um, <clears throat> uh, tools for sublimation or stuff like that. Um, but I have always stayed away from the yarn because I thought, oh, I don't know. You know, it's probably cheap stuff, right? But I am really shocked. From what the stuff that I've got, I'm, I'm shocked. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, un, un yarny related, but business related. Uh, I've been seeing on all of the crochet sites that are doing plushy businesses and stuff. They've all gotten a label maker that does stickers and labels and all of that kind of stuff. And I finally broke down and went, okay, I'm going to get one. <clears throat> um, so I did. And this is one of the ones that one of the sites had. And I thought, I'm going to try this one. So I'm excited. Once I get this room dealt with, um, I'm excited to try it out. Oh, well, that's cute. Oh, wow. It's bigger than I thought it was. Okay. <clears throat> um, they give me a little keychain. <laughs> awesome. I don't know what it's for, but we'll see. maybe it's for something for the, for the machine. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not going to take this all out and everything right now, but it's actually bigger than I thought. Which is good because it does four by six um, shipping labels. So I wanted to make sure that I got something that could do shipping labels and stickers and like um, any stickers that say like, thank you for your order kind of thing. Um, and then I also got a, what do you call it? It's, um, it's to hold your roll of stickers. So I got that um, so that I don't have to have a roll of stickers flying all over the place. So, yeah. So now I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm really still debating whether or not to have all of my business stuff downstairs um, and have it all set up so that I can package all my stuff down there um and yeah I don't know because the sublimation stuff I cannot have that where my yarn is <clears throat> I can't be doing sublimation with yarn because the sublimation has like a powder a powdery substance that comes off um and so you have to be wiping up everything um so yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I know I want to get rid of one of our couches and put a lazy boy in the, in the living room because I can't sit on that couch anymore. My back just can't handle it. So my thought is putting my, you know, the, the shelving thing that I had in here before that was the squares, the cubicles. I'm thinking about maybe putting that in the living room so that I've got my yarn right there. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Either that or transforming this whole room back into my yarn room and then putting all of this stuff downstairs and then just opening the windows or doors or whatever <clears throat> when I'm doing my sublimation. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> so, anywho. Okay, I think that's all I had to show you. I think it is. Oh. If not, then I'll come back at another video and show you all of that. So thanks for joining me. And I love you all. Don't forget to do all the things. I would love it if you would subscribe. Um, and I don't normally say all that. But um, I'd really love to see your comments. Uh, I don't get near enough comments. I just love hearing from you guys. So, yeah. Tell me your thoughts. Okay? And thank you so much for all of your support. You guys have been wonderful throughout this whole thing that I've been going through. And, you know, I'm I'm just so looking forward to the next chapter of Crochet A. So, yeah. Okay. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye!